Hey, hold it! What do you think you're doing? You can't go in there. That's private. Why, them women could be naked in there, and the, the breast is just swinging back and forth with the, the nipple thing, and they could be hanging upside down and getting it. Well, you just don't know. Oh, sorry. I was just looking for the head. Don't you talk that nautical talk to me, bub. I'm just a plain old country boy. Whoever removed random message hey, 22, it's please me. report Larry? to security <laughs> immediately. Hey, man. Nice threads. Oh, uh, Johnson? I want a gigantic erection. Well, talk to the captain, not me. No, I mean a drink. A cocktail? Oh, well, that'll take a while. Are you sure? Oh, I'll, I'll wait. No problem. You could take the deodorant, but shouldn't you leave something in its place so they don't notice? Sneaky idea! The jugs will never notice. The two cans look almost identical. What a surprise! You pushed an unmarked button. You hope nothing bad happens. Huh. Got away with another one. Hey, loser! You want this drink you ordered? I'll charge it to your room. Thanks. Hey, my banana's all soft and flaccid with little brown spots. Sorry, bud. I only do drinks. Just ease this. Oops. That's a sneaky idea. The bulb fits. It's the right voltage. But won't it make the stage uncomfortably warm? Johnson, it's me, Larry, <laughs> Larry Laffer. Hey, man, nice threads. Uh, excuse me, Johnson, I want a glass of lime juice. No. Why not? We don't serve just lime juice. And why not? Because it ain't on the menu. Oh, it ain't, ain't it? Nope, and if it ain't on the menu, I ain't serving it. Well then, how about you make me a Lime Ricky, Johnson? Is that on your menu? Yeah. 
Okay. But leave out the gin, okay? Okay. Virgin. And leave out the soda water, okay? Okay. And leave out the sugar, okay? Okay. And leave out the friggin' eyes, okay? Why, you? And make it snappy. Here, bugger up. Oh, uh, Johnson? I want a gigantic erection. Well, talk to the captain, not me. No, I'm... Oh. oh. Your attention, please. Bill has just won the all-night disco marathon competition. Hey, loser. You want this drink you ordered? I'll charge it to your room. Thanks. Hey, my banana's all soft and flaccid with little brown spots. Sorry, bud. I only do drinks. part of our set. Who wants to play with our jugs? Wow! <laughs> Why, looky here, Mama. A volunteer. Howdy, buckaroo. <coughs> Pardon us while we whip these out. <gasps> hey, Johnson. How about some of that special lighting? Why don't you, honey? Is it hot in here? Oh, Mama, I'm a getting that feeling again. Grab it. Surely I won't run into somebody this time. What are you going to do with those? There's a remote possibility you could use that. Yes, the room.
Well, what's this? The sound man left his earplugs lying under the mixer. And now, the Proud Little Seaman Lounge presents our version of Disney's Mr. Lincoln. Welcome to Great Moments with Mr. Clinton, starring our little audit. Thank you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute now. I haven't even started the jokes yet. And now, without any further to do, here comes the hilarity. How do you recognize Al Gore when he's surrounded by Secret Service agents? Easy. He's the stiff one. <laughs> now here's something for you folks to ponder. You know what I say to Hillary right before sex? See you in an hour, honey. Huh. But seriously, folks. Hey, Johnson. It's me, Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Hey, man. Nice threads. Oh, uh, Johnson? I want a gigantic erection. Well, talk to the captain, not me. No. Oh. Come on in, honey. Oh, mama, not again. Hey, loser. You want this drink you ordered? I'll charge it to your room. Thanks. Your attention, please. Lane has just won the spud trucking competition by hoisting a full load. Yeah, baby. There's no need to use that there. That was mediocre. Do not exit the horseshoe area without... Oh, I hope that's my card.
Watch out! Congratulations, another ringer. Your attention, please. Larry Lapper has just won the horseshoe tossing portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 100 points. Congratulations, Larry. You really stuck it to him. Do not exit the horse. Ugh. I hope that's my card. It's amazing what can be done with injection molding. Cybersmith 2000. There's a sheaf of folk. This life insurance policy in the amount of $1 billion is on one Aristotle K. Boning with the beneficiary listed as Annette B. Boning. It emits a very faint smell. I'm interested in boning. I'm your boy. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I want to find out about a passenger named Boning. Damn. I never give out information to the public, even Boning ones. Okay, see you around. Your attention, please. Mike has just won the evening gown portion of the competition. Earth's death, what do you want? Yes, may I please have the boning cabin? Connecting. Hello? Are you boning? We were, till this damn phone rang. Earth's death, now what? May I please have the boning cabin? Connecting. Hello? Hello? May I speak with the lady of the cabin? Look, Sonny, you either stop calling 
or I'll have your ass thrown overboard. Horseshoes may not be removed from the horseshoe competition area. I'm interested in boning. I'm your boy. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I want to find out about a passenger. I'm a little worried about the charges on my account. Could you check my balance for me? Of course. Wait here. I'll be right back. Purser Peter places important people's pertinent phone calls and patches perturbed passengers' phone problems via this phone. Good idea. Gold? Oil? Yeah, that's real helpful. What in the hell good does that do me? Larry, the phone's upside down. And your point is? That's 71009. The Boning's phone number is 71009. I knew that. The 7 indicates a guest room on this ship. 1009 is their room number. Huh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that could be helpful. Please deposit $1.75 for each additional minute.